Like most little girls, I grew up dreaming about this day. Not about my dress or the decorations or all the little details, but about the man I would be standing here with. I dreamed of a man who loved his family and loved God. A man who values loyalty and hard work. A man who could make me laugh and who loves adventure. A man who puts others before himself, protects me, loves me with all my flaws, and calls me his best friend. I prayed so hard for this man to come into my life, and in 2017, you did. You are all of these things and so much more. When I look at you, Eric, I know that you are the greatest gift God has ever given me. And here we go. <laughs> Bree, my bean. You are such a joy. And so beautiful inside and out. I think you were born with a heart of gold. You are authentic and so caring and loving to your family and everyone you know. You have so many wonderful qualities and a zest for life that could only be God's doing. And it's truly been one of God's greatest blessings in my life to have you for a daughter. I love you and I'm very proud of you and the woman that you've become. When Bree was growing up and becoming interested in boys, I always told her what a great treasure she was and to take her time and to choose carefully. I told her, don't listen to anything they say, just watch what they do. Apparently she listened well, okay? Because I could not have asked for a finer man for Bree to spend the rest of her life with than Eric. Eric, I'm honored to welcome you into this family and to call you my son-in-law. Brianne, three years ago today, we went on our first date. I was so nervous. For those of you who don't know, Bri and I met in jail. <laughs> I remember that first date so well. It changed my life forever. I specifically remember dropping you off after and immediately thinking, I'm gonna marry that girl. Seeing Bree so happy this last three years is something a mother only dreams of for her daughter. Three years ago today, your 12 hour first date became, Bree came home and told me, she literally, she came into the driver. I thought she was out on a whole day with Kelsey. And she came home and says, no mom, I went on a date. And she said, mom, he's the one. He's the one? I was so shocked, but I just know that that's my Brie. She knew from that moment that God had placed him in her life. Eric has this house in Forest Hill that's on a well and, you know, it snows there. And I knew she was a keeper when she drove through the snowstorm, had no water when the power went out, you know, put wood in the wood stove and figured it out. And she's like, oh no, it's all good. I got chili cooking on the stove. I'm good. And you do that all with a blessing and a smile on your face. And it's like, okay, it's another lesson and off we go. And Eric has done that too. And so between the two of you, I know you go very far. And I know God has blessed us to have both of you together. And praise God. Love you. Bree and I grew up together uh, for the past 24 to 25 years. Um, our parents met in a food and fellowship group at church um, and immediately became friends. We, from day one, have just always been so close, and I think that it's a really great privilege to be able to say that I have such friendship with such an amazing person. Um, Growing up as a woman and growing on my own and watching her grow, um, not everybody gets that kind of relationship with somebody. 
and I don't take it for granted for one second. And then Bree met Eric, and this person that I know Bree to be, um, I also started to see in Eric. And as days went by, I thought, how perfect are these two for each other? There comes a point in every person's life when they meet their one true love and soulmate. The person who's going to know them for the rest of their life. And that moment came for Eric 20 years ago when he met me. In my mind, Eric had it all. A new house, a new job, a loving family, and his dog, Brooke. But I knew there was one more piece of the puzzle. And I found out about this last piece one fall night when I met up with him and some of his coworkers at one of our local breweries. I could tell something was different. After a while, when we finally had a chance to talk, he pulled out his phone and showed me a picture of this girl. When asked who this, who this was, he only responded with a smile. There I knew he had found his final piece. It's crazy to think how fast these three years have flown by since they went on their first date. Something that I have come to cherish is when Eric stops by the house when he's working. It's a routine. My dogs hear squeaky patrol car brakes coming down the driveway, followed by them jumping on him as they greet him at the door. Walks in carrying his laptop, Yeti cup full of bang energy, takes off his duty belt and immediately runs to my bathroom. It gives us a chance to catch up on each other's work and everything else going on in our lives. One day in particular, he was getting in his patrol car and I could tell he wanted to say something. Before he pulled away, he said, hey, there's one more thing I wanted to talk to you about. As I walked back to the driver's door, he had the same smile as when he first told me about this girl. I'm thinking about asking her to marry me. I looked at him with a big grin and said, it's about damn time. And here we are, all gathered together, surrounded by friends and family, as we celebrate these two amazing people as they embark on their journey together. Seeing you two together looks complete. I wish you nothing but happiness, love, and success together. So if you all join me in raising a glass to Bree and Eric, congratulations, you too. I choose you today, I'll choose you again tomorrow, and I'll continue to choose you day after day for the rest of our lives. Today, I make the easiest decision I've ever made, becoming your wife. Eric, I love you with all of my heart today and forever. You're my favorite. I promise to always love you, laugh with you, cry with you, and encourage you through sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, forever, and for always. I'm so lucky I get to spend the rest of my life with my best friend. I can't imagine where I would be without you, and I cannot wait to continue life's journey together. <laughs>